Today, I'm going to talk about the broken wing butterfly option strategy. It's one of the most popular option strategies used by professional option traders. The broken wing butterfly offers a high probability of profit, and it eliminates the downside risk if you are bullish, and eliminates the upside risk if you are bearish. This strategy prevents you from losing money if the trade goes against your bias direction. I'm going to show you how to set up the broken wing butterfly. And we will analyze the profit and loss profile to see how we will make money with this option strategy. Before we do that, I need you to click that thumbs up icon and help me smash the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe by clicking the subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. And click the notification icon so you won't miss any future video from me. If you have any comment or questions, post them in the comment section below, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. Now, when do we use the broken wing butterfly? The best time to use this option strategy is when a bias is neutral or slightly directional. If a bias is bullish, then we will set up the broken wing butterfly using call options. And if a bias is bearish, then we will use the put option to set up the broken wing butterfly. A broken wing butterfly is consists of two out of the money vertical spread options: one long vertical, one short vertical. Both of these verticals have the same short strike, and I show you what I mean by that when we look at a trade later. The width of the short vertical is twice as wide as the width of the long vertical. The broken wing butterfly typically will result with a credit. If the setup doesn't give us a credit, then we won't take the trade. Otherwise, we will not be able to eliminate the risk when the trade goes against a bias. Now let's look at a broken wing butterfly using call option. In this example, we will buy a 100 and 105 call vertical, and sell a 105 and 115 call vertical. The vertical we bought has a worth of five point, and the vertical we sold has a worth of ten point, which is twice as wide as the vertical we bought. Also notice the same short strike of 105 in both of the vertical. At expiration, if the underline is at 100 or lower, we will keep the credit we receive when we put on the trade. No matter how low it goes, it could go to zero, we still get to keep the credit since the 100 call option will expire worthless along with all the call option above 100. The break even price is when the underlying expires at 110 plus the amount of credit we receive. If we receive a credit of 50 cents, for example, then the break even price is $110.50. We will incur maximum loss when the underlying expires at 115 or higher. And that amount is the width of the long vertical minus the credit we receive. In this example, the width is $5. And the credit is 50 cents. So the maximum loss is $4.50. And we will realize maximum profit if the underlying expires at the short strike of 105. The maximum profit is the width of the long vertical plus the credit we receive. And in our example, that is $5 plus 50 cents, which is $5.50. Now let's look at a broken wing butterfly using put option. In this example, we will buy a 105 and 100 put vertical, and we will sell a 100 and a 90 put vertical. The vertical we bought has a width of 5 point, and the vertical we sold has a width of 10 point, which is twice as wide as the vertical we bought. And also notice the same short strike of 100 in both of the verticals. At expiration, if the underline is at 105 or higher, we'll get to keep the credit we receive. It doesn't matter if it goes to 1,000, 2,000, or to the sky, because the 105 put and all the put options below 105 will expire worthless. The break even price for this trade is 105 minus 2 times the width of the long vertical minus the credit we receive. 
So for example, if we receive a credit of 50 cents when we set up this trade, then the break-even price is 105 minus 10 minus 50 cents, and that's equal to $94.50, and that is the break-even price. We will incur a maximum loss when the underlying expire at 90. That loss is the width of the long vertical minus the credit we receive, and that is $5 minus 50 cents, or $4.50. We will realize maximum profit when the underlying expire at the short strike of 100. And the amount of max profit is the width of the long vertical plus the credit we receive, which is $5 plus 50 cents, or $5.50. From these examples, we saw how the broken wing butterfly gave us the credit to help eliminate the risk if the trade go against a bias. Also, how we can realize additional profit if the trade moves modestly in a bias direction. These are the two primary benefits why the broken wing butterfly option strategy is one of the most popular option strategies for the professional option trader. If you find this presentation educational, be sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button to subscribe. Thank you for watching, good luck on your trading, and I see you in the next video.